reputation for integrity and competence has preceded you, sir. It will be remembered that Justice Brion applied for the Court of Appeals. When, we, when I read the PDS that he filed, I told my colleagues, no, you, you include him in the list for applicants for the Supreme Court. Uh, Justice, there is one concern that I have, especially when I was still a member of the court. Uh, cases which are not necessarily decided unbanked are decided by a division of the Supreme Court. The decision of the ponente in that division is a decision of the whole court. There are objections to this manner of deciding cases because it is felt that the decision of a division is not reflective of the sentiment of the whole court. What are your thoughts on this matter? Would you agree that all cases be decided unbanked instead of by division? I agree with you, Your Honor. Cases in the Supreme Court should be decided and banked. And for that purpose, I will propose to the court that we restructure ourselves into the visions of three, into the visions of three, so that there will be five divisions, and these five divisions will accept all new petitions for their, uh, for what we call our filtration process, for purposes of completion, and for purposes of a report and recommendation to the end bank. So, cases will move fast. There are three, only three members to a division, and there will be dismissals of cases, and there will be reports and recommendations, and this will all go to the end bank for the end bank's consideration. I, I, uh, will, I say that uh, I will propose this to the court because this is quite a radical uh, proposal because I don't think we have ever be constituted ourselves as divisions of three. But this is one of the answers to our clogging of cases. Things will move faster. And this is not at all a problem. Uh, because what will happen then is that the end bank will be simply, will simply concern itself with deliberating on the finished reports of justices. I think in one end bank sitting, 20 to 30 cases would be a possibility. Of course, there will be some problem cases that will be called again and again. But these are the major cases that even with our present structures are also called again. But this will serve, Your Honor, the problem that we have about conflicting decisions. Yes. Alam po ninyo, may umaga, mauunang magbasa sa akin ang misis ko. Ang sasabihin ng misis ko, oh, dinesisyon na na pala ninyo itong kaso na ito. Sabi ko, hindi ko alam po ano yan. Hindi ko po alam sapagkat ibang division ang nag... Uh, nag-decide ng kaso. Eh, yun po, po ba, mababasa ko pa? Hindi ko na ba mababasa yun. May desisyon na. Sa dami ng aming kaso, with what I propose, all cases will pass through the end bank. So, lahat end bank decisions na. So, 
cases hopefully will not only move faster, there will be a uniformity of rulings aside from stability of the tenor of the rulings in our uh, cases. If we have to change principles of law, then that would be the opportunity also because everybody will be contributing. So, yan po ang sagot ko uh, sa inyo, uh, Honorable Justice. Thank you, thank you very much. Now, there's something that has bugged me. Considering the unmitigated proliferation of deaths, deaths caused by violence, of, uh, by violence of judges, journalists, and other private individuals, are you in favor of a revival of the death penalty law? Uh, I, I do, you, do you believe that the extreme penalty of death is a deterrent to the commission of such crimes as murder, parricide, rape, kidnapping? I am uh, really neutral to the idea, Your Honor. Uh, there are four pros and cons against the idea. Precisely. It, it That's seems to I'm me that the, uh, the death penalty is not at all a deterrence, considering, considering the delay 